Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing leaf chameleons. Leaf chameleons get their common name because they look like leaves. Little leaves, to be exact. In fact, one might go so far as to call them tiny. Leaf chameleons are some of the smallest known vertebrates alive today. On average, they only reach about an inch long, and that's including their tail. They could easily sit on the tip of your finger. The largest known species maxes out at just over 4 inches in length, so these reptiles are small. Not only do leaf chameleons have a body shape similar to a small leaf, they also have lumps and bumps to make them more cryptic. What's more, they take on the color of their surroundings. Leaf chameleons don't have the vast color-changing capacity seen in some of their relatives. Instead of displaying flashy colors to show off for other members of their species, brown leaf chameleons prefer to keep a low profile. Very low, in fact. These reptiles spend most of their waking hours walking along the forest floor among piles of leaf litter. They blend in perfectly. During the day, these lizards sit motionless and wait for tasty treats to pass them by. Some sources suggest they have the fastest tongue in the chameleon world and the ants, mites, and other small invertebrates they eat don't stand a chance. Like other chameleons, the leaf chameleon's tongue has a sticky bulb that collects prey and quickly draws it towards its mouth. Leaf chameleons have another common name. They're also known as stump-tailed chameleons, and this is because they have relatively much shorter tails than other chameleon species. A lot of chameleons use their prehensile tail to help grasp limbs as they walk through tree branches. However, leaf chameleons don't need to hold on, since they spend their days on the ground. Their tails are thus much shorter and not prehensile. Leaf chameleons do climb into short bushes at night, but these aren't far off the ground. In fact, when scientists go out to collect these reptiles for study, this is the easiest time to find them. There are about 30 described leaf chameleon species as of this recording. They are native to Madagascar and live in small pockets of moist forests. They tend to like human places, however they are absent from riverbanks, and it's hypothesized they avoid this otherwise perfect habitat due to predation. Birds and snakes are both assumed to be predators of these small reptiles, and they likely face other unknown threats as well. One of their greatest threats is habitat destruction. It's typical for an entire leaf chameleon species to be located in a single, small, isolated location. If that habitat were to be cut down, the entire species would be lost with it. In some ways, leaf chameleons are protected. Their range may be located in a protected forest or local superstitions can keep them safe. Some natives believe killing an animal without reason can lead to retribution from the animal's vengeful spirit. Leaf chameleons, being so tiny, are seen as something like Mother Nature's trap because it's difficult to avoid stepping on them in the leaf litter. If they are caught, these lizards have multiple methods of fooling a would-be predator. They will feign death by flattening their body or curling up like a dead spider. They can also vibrate to surprise anything holding it. There's still a lot we don't know about these tiny reptiles. All leaf chameleon species are believed to lay large eggs and small clutches, but the specifics of mating and their life cycle are less clear. It's believed that leaf chameleons have shorter lifespans than the average chameleon species, so they likely live less than five years in the wild. For more facts on leaf chameleons, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpiegel93, dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.